I was in a hit and run accident this morning, okay? Uh, for those of you that was on my com community page or my community tab, you've seen it. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you're familiar with it. Uh, I posted a couple pictures. Uh, and for those of you that are subscribed to the Anton Daniels channel, you already seen the vlog. So Anton never misses an opportunity to A, bring you guys up to speed on what's going on in my life. Uh, and then B, on top of that, making sure that you guys are familiar with uh, or monetizing my disposition. I'll go into that in a minute. So this is a general idea of what was going on. I had on my Kooji. I was out there. I was on the freeway on my way into the office. I was almost down into the office. And then everything just went to shit right after that. But life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. And so I'm going to give you the details. And then I'm also going to give you my mindset uh, as to how things play out or why things play out the way that it does. And why you're not a victim. You're not a victim just because somebody does something to you. You're not a victim just because somebody hit your car and you are hitting you in a hit and run situation. You're not a victim just because things happen to you and then you're not necessarily prepared for it. So this was my driver's side, but they hit me on the passenger side because I was in the fast lane. Um, and this is what it looks like. So that's what my Porsche now looks like. The Porsche is not totaled. I don't think that they're going to total it out. But the Porsche now looks like that, right? So let me give you a little bit of insight on what my mindset is, right? A, it rains on the just and the unjust. That's literally the word of God. It rains on the just. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. It rains on the just and the unjust. So how the accident happened or how it played out is I'm riding down the street. I'm on my way. I'm grooving. I got on my Kooji. Here, let me re rewind it for you so you can see what I'm looking at. So I got on my Kooji. I got on my Versace's. I got on my Gucci loafers. I got the Gucci belt on. I got the whole, the whole kit. Actually, I still got on my pants with the Gucci belt, right? So I got on the whole, the whole thing, right? And this is what I wore on Saturday night. So I keep a, a whole closet full of clothes. I got a whole lineup in a closet full of clothes. Anybody that's ever been to my studio or seen me show parts of my studio, uh, I got a dressing room. I got different sets. I got closets full of clothes. I got a whole bunch of coogees. I got Gucci loafers. I got a whole bunch of stuff in there, right? And um, <clears throat> so when I went downtown and I had to go out to eat on Saturday and so, you know, I was out there and I went to the casino. Shout out to some of y'all people that would see me in the casino. I didn't do any gambling, but I just went there in order to um, go to the restaurant. So one of the best restaurants that I love is D prime is inside of the casino. And then obviously, you know, I pay for nothing. So it's free for me. Right. So I go down there and then I stopped at the office. I switched my clothes out or whatever. So my goal was just to wear the stuff that I take a shower this morning, wear the stuff that I had had on Saturday, wear it back to the office, drop it off, switch my gear out, throw on my normal black t-shirt that, you know, I, I live stream with on the millionaire morning show and then get to cooking, right? I see an accident happening in front of me. I got enough time to stop. I'm slowing down, right? Because we in a fast lane. And it looked like a pretty big accident because it's multiple different cars. But, you know, it's a completely different environment that we live in today. So, naturally, people on their phones, stuff happening, things happening all around you. So, as I'm slowing down, I could see the person in my rear view just coming. They just going fast. They ain't focused. It look like they talking or whatever. And it's amazing how situationally aware you are, right? I'm the, I'm the type of person, I remember one time I hit a deer. But instead of me swerving out of the way or whatever, or when I see stuff in the middle of the road, road I don't swerve out the way. You know, when I'm in the snow, people that is used to driving in the snow, Michigan weather or so on and so forth, the, the East Coast or the Midwest people, if you hit a, a black ice or a patch of snow or whatever, you don't start swerving real crazy or anything like that. They teach you, and it's always different from what it actually happens than, than you know when you're in a situation versus what they teach you. They teach you, don't slam on the brakes. You start to slow down, right? And so I'm really situationally aware, and that's why I didn't have a front-end fender bender where I ran into somebody else, but instead somebody else ran into me, right? So... You know, I'm slowing down. I'm cool, but I can see the people behind me. The first thing that comes to my mind is, well, I guess I'm about to just get hit. 
but I don't want to cause a huge accident to where I hurt somebody else's car, right? I swerve trying to swerve out of the way of them hitting me. So I'm just completely focused. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. I'm like, oh, okay, well, then they're going to rear, rear end me. <clears throat> but at the same time, I could take my car being hit. I got really great insurance. <clears throat> I got a bunch of cars. I pay like $1,700 a month in insurance for my car. So this is why we have it. You know what I'm saying? So right before they hit me, they swerve. And of course, it was a woman, right? You know, it was a woman. And then not only did they swerve, but they lost control of the car. They hit the car next to them. And then it, the car next to them, it, it was almost like they bounced off of them and then hit me on my on my passenger side, right? So I'm in the fast lane. They swerve out and then they hit me on the passenger side. But again, I'm just cool, calm, collected. I'm composed. <clears throat> I didn't trip. I'm not going to get out the car and chase it. I seen some of y'all comments. Anton, why you ain't? Why you ain't run out there and get it? Because I got insurance. Well, it's just the principle about it. But I have insurance. And I'm safe. And the airbags didn't even deploy. And it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, okay, well, are they going to pull over so that, you know, we can get the police report? Because it was three cars that was in an accident that was in front of me. So I had a completely separate accident trying to slow down for them. They, the chick pearl off, it was a black woman, she gone and just drive off, so who knows, her license may have been suspended, she might not have had no insurance, so on and so forth, right, and so I'm not chasing her down, I'm not about to run out, run out there like that, I parked my car, wait for the state, state police, I made a vlog, so I'm completely nonchalant, because I got a 96 Impala that I just ordered last week that's coming in, right, I just uh, got another update from the from the Lamborghini dealership about when my cars is going to come in. This car is literally a business expense. It's a business car, and it's a lease. It's a, it's a three-year lease. I turn it in in the middle of next year. I don't care about the value of the car. I don't care about any of that car. I use it for business when I'm going in and out, when I'm doing promotion, and I make a lot of vlogs with it and stuff like that. So why the, why the fuck am I going to trip about a car? that I'm not even keeping, it's a lease, and somebody else's car is tow up, they got to deal with that shit. <clears throat> they have to deal with the fact that they might get caught by the police, their car is completely tow up, they got to show up to work looking dusty every day. I called the insurance company like, yeah, uh, I'm about to go back to the crib. I'm about to, you know, I was literally, while I'm waiting on the police, I'm waiting on the state police, I called the police or whatever, I'm talking to the people out there, I make my vlog, I drop the vlog on the Anton Daniels channel, right, because I'm a, listen, I'm a bag chaser, so I'm going to monetize the fact that I just don't give a fuck, I'm going to monetize off the fact that not only am I documenting my life, but this is what's happening to me, and so not only am I going to get the bag on that front, but I'm also going to get the bag on that front. So I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that I want to tell y'all. It's a couple different lessons in this, right? A, always maintain your composure 100% of the time. Never, ever make an emotional decision. Never, ever. Um, if somebody said, does having an accident affect your lease? No, not at all. Never make an emotional decision. Never, ever get out, you know, get out of frame. It's a good thing. Bad things are going to happen to good people and bad things are going to happen to bad people. Good things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people. So it rains on the just and the unjust. You're not, a, you're not an exception to the rule. And then somebody else wrote in my comments. They said, well, Anton, um, here, let me show you all what the accident looked like. They said, well, Anton, um, you better be humble. You better learn to be humble because things happen. Something going to happen to you. What are you talking about? What does humility have to do with the fact that I got into a car accident and I have insurance? Me and the state police kicking it. I'm going to be honest with you. After I dropped the vlog, because it took them a little bit of time to get there, I jumped on my computer. I did a, I did a, uh, a selfie, and that's what I created as the cover photo for this live stream today. And now the live stream is going to be called Hit and Run. I'm not tripping off of none of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't affect me. This type of stuff don't affect me. I'm thankful for the fact that I'm alive. I'm thankful for the fact that I have insurance and that I have the money and the resources to not have to worry about this type of stuff. 
Um, I'm thankful for the fact that I can I could have went to the office and had the insurance company come and tow my car from there, but I decided to come back from home and I'm still live streaming. Um, I'm thankful for the fact that all of my bags are straight. I'm thankful for the fact that I got friends and family and then you guys, the bag chasers, that check on me and say, God bless you, I'm glad that you're alive. What is it that I'm tripping about? You know what I'm saying? And so the goal, the goal is just to communicate this. A, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. Always control the situation. Always control yourself. Always control your emotions. Always control with... With, with how it is that you're going to react to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're in an accident, even if you're in a situation, be situationally aware. B, um, focus on the fact of what you're going to do next and not necessarily what happened to you. And then C, always be prepared. Make sure you get your license. And this is it's unfortunate that I even have this, that, that I even got to have this conversation. Make sure that you have a, a valid driver's license. Make sure that you have insurance. Make sure that your registration and your tags are straight, and then you won't have to worry about any of this type of stuff. Everybody that had all of their stuff together, and the other three people that was in the accident, they was all white people. It's funny. And they was all just chilling. We was all kicking it, sitting there chilling. Eventually, I had to leave them so I can come and prepare for my live stream. So I had to do my cover photo. I had to upload my video and put the tags on it. I was more concerned with, Okay, how long is it going to take for us to get this accident report so I can go and be able to do my live stream? Because my people need me. I got to get them through their day. I was telling the state police officer, he's like, yeah, hey, where you about to go? You about to go to the office or home? I was like, eh, I don't know. He said, you want to drive your car? I said, yeah, I'm going to drive it because I need to be able to. I'm not about to be taking an Uber in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be walking up the ramp and all that other type of stuff. So we here. And I don't want to hear no excuses from nobody. Things happen to people and things happen to me every single day. I don't, I do not miss. I don't make excuses. It's going to have to be a severe life event for me to miss what it is that I'm supposed to do on a daily basis. Life goes on. I got my work computer over here. We running it up. We doing a live stream. We taking care of business and I'm going to be live streaming tonight on the Q show. We running that up. We not going to make no excuses. I don't want to hear your dog is coughing on you. I don't want to hear no problems and trouble. Let's run that junk up and stop making excuses and take care of business. If you are not having a severe life event, if somebody didn't pass away in your family, if you're not, a, yo, let's run this up. Let's stop making excuses as to what's going on in our lives and start controlling the narrative because we don't have to necessarily react how everybody else reacts. We not under duress. We don't have those type of problems. I don't really care about what happens to that car because the insurance company is going to deal with it and either they're going to fix it and get it back to me and I'm going to ride it until the lease is over next year and then I'm going to get another one, another one, and that car is in my business name. Or, you know what I'm saying, they total it out and then I got three more cars plus two more, no, three more cars on order and I got three more cars here. Okay, so cool. Now I'm going to drive the S-Class. The car got less than 10,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? We upgrade. I wanted to drive to 96 Impala for the rest of the summer until it was over anyway. All right? So, uh, again, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. Do not be sitting here worried about what's going on out in these streets. Have a good time. Run it up. Uh, continue to prepare and do things that's in your best interest. All right?